motivation is of course also very culture specific because when you want to motivate people it's about people's emotions and uh, what sometimes people wrongly think is that a salary is in itself a strong motivator but uh, that is what is called an hygienic factor which means when people don't earn enough it's a demotivator but when they earn enough it's not a motivator there are things which are true in every country uh, and then it's not culture specific but when we for example compare Poland with the States then we see that in the States uh, a strong motivator is to make it in life to realize a career and to show that to other people which is a very highly uh, masculine highly individualistic approach <clears throat> in um, Poland to a degree that would work but in Poland what is much more important is job security for example and to have a proper structure so that you know what is expected of you um, to to be recognized uh, that you are very good in what you do a uh, good in your trade is a strong motivator in Poland so therefore for example if Poles want to find out how best to motivate our people now that we changed our economic system it may be better and wiser to look at how the French do it because the French have developed, developed quite some special tools um, which are not used in the States because Americans would be demotivated by the French approach and one thing which is very French is that you don't praise your subordinates but you tell them what went wrong so that they can do a better job.